Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Moving Box wireless microphone. This is a 2.4 gigahertz wireless microphone system. It's supposed to work well with both smartphones and cameras. So we're gonna unbox it, try it out with both of them and see how it goes. So here we go. All right, let's take a quick look around the box here. We can see here it says uh, moving mic and moving box here. And it looks like we're gonna have a transmitter and a receiver like we should with all wireless mics. And it also looks like the microphone is gonna be uh, built onto the transmitter there, which is really nice. We'll see if this actually comes with a uh, built-in lavalier, I mean, with a included lavalier microphone, not just the built-in one. Um, it looks like it is going to have a 2.4 gigahertz uh, transmission compatible with all mobile devices, uh, 20 to 30 meters transmission distance and built-in lithium batteries. So um, yeah, not much info on here. It shows the frequency range is uh, 24 megahertz to 2483.5 megahertz. And uh, the model is the moving box. So there we have it. Yeah, nothing else. All right, well, let's go ahead and get this thing uh, unboxed here. I have my handy dandy uh, box opening knife, which is my Gerber Quadrant. I have something new I hope to be uh, to be reviewing soon on that front. So uh, if you're interested in my unboxing knives, check those, check back. Hopefully soon I'll get something in. Um, and uh, let's just get this plastic off here and set this aside. And there we go. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can get this thing out of the box here. Some of these boxes, they make them really, really tight so that it's a little challenging at times to get stuff out of here. But there we go. Uh, all right, let's get this foam over here. Get that off. Oh, you know what? There we go. I guess this was just on top. So it was, I think the way it was originally, I think it was like this, but I think I pulled it all out instead of just the top layer of foam. So anyways, there we have it. There are the, uh, there are the transmitter, the, re the receiver and the transmitter there. And then we'll just take that out. Let's get everything out of there. We have a, um, we have a user manual there. It looks like underneath here, we are going to have a, a furry dead cat for our, um, for our transmitter for the microphone on there. It looks like we are going to have cables here. We're gonna have two sets of cables. One of them is going to be the, uh, the one that's for cameras and one that's going to be for uh, smartphones. And you can tell the difference. And let me see if I can get these out of here. Oh yeah, they're not taped up, that's nice. You may be able to see on here, this has actually three rings on there. That's gonna be the one that's for smartphones. Now, uh, if you have the one here, you'll see this one is going to have two rings on there and that's going to be for regular cameras. So we have, it looks like two USB-C, um, it looks like we have two USB-C cables so that we can charge the devices up. So I'm assuming these are going to have USB-C. Yes, they are. USB-C ports on there right there so that we can actually get those uh, charged up. And uh, yeah, um, they feel good, they're, they're, they feel light. They feel very, very similar to the Rode, um, to the Rode uh, Wireless Go system. I mean, almost identical they feel, um, you know, in, in, in the same way. Um, they do look a little bit different, but not that much. They, they have, you know, like the, the pairing thing, the decibel uh, levels there. Um, it's a little different where you have the power buttons not on the top, on the, not on the bottom there for some of these. And it said the power button's right there. Uh, but you know what, let's go ahead and get these powered on and we'll push that there. I think you have to push it maybe and hold it a little bit. There we go, now it's on. So we have the transmitter and the receiver on and it looks like they might be paired up already. Yeah, it looks like they might be paired up. Now, I didn't know if there was gonna be a screen on here or not giving me any information, but uh, it doesn't look like it. Now there is a decibel level button on here that adjusts the decibel level. So let's see if it actually, if it gives me any sort of information. I guess it's just sort of maybe like a high and low. I'm not, yeah, cause that's all I'm seeing is this one, on one push it goes red, the other push it goes, um, it goes blue. So maybe that's, yeah, maybe you just have high and low. I'm not really sure. So, um, all right, well, let's, uh, let's test this thing out. 
And because these are supposed to work with cameras, let's start off here using it with just the camera here in the office here, and then we'll hook it up to my smartphones and we'll see what those sound like. Um, also, just so you know, you're going to need, uh, unless you have a smartphone with a headphone jack, you're going to actually need uh, these, uh, these adapters. So I have uh, one here that is for uh, a lightning to headphone jack, that is going to be for iOS. Another one that is a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter, that is going to be for uh, mostly Android devices there, unless you're using this with an iPad or something that has a USB-C, but I'm gonna use it with my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So we'll see how these work out and uh, let's get to testing. So let me hook these up to, the, uh, to my regular camera and, we'll, and I'll be right back. All right, so I have the microphone hooked up here. I am using it. I have a clip to my sweatshirt right here, as we can see. Now, I normally don't wear my microphone on the outside like this, but I wanted to wear it like this just so that you can see it and show that that's what I'm using. I know a lot of people who use these sort of clip-on mics actually use them on the outside like this. I don't like to do that, but some people do, and that's fine. It's just not my particular, my particular style. I like to wear them and clip them to my tank top underneath my shirt shirt here. Now, there's one issue that I've already recognized with this mic set, and that is the decibel button on here, the level change, the way to change the gain on here. There's no real visual indicator to let you know uh, what decibel change has been made. It's like you push the button and there's a little light that goes from blue to red on there, and that's really kind of it. And unfortunately, with you know, from looking at the levels on my camera, uh, the meters, I, I, there's nothing changing. It looks the exact same from when I pushed the decibel button to not push the decibel button. So I don't really know if anything is changing on there or not. Basically what I had to do was go into my, uh, into my camera and actually lower the gain levels on my camera manually so that I wasn't peaking because everything was going to the red. This seems to be a very, very hot mic. So. When I picked up the instructions and decided to look through them, I'm not a big instructions person, but I figured, hey, you know, let me read it. Nothing. It didn't give me anything about how, you know, to, to view the meters or anything about the adjusting the decibels. There's just minimal, there's no information, really. It's just, there's nothing on there. So it's, it's just, yeah, that's unfortunate. Anyways, I'm just sort of rambling on so you can get a sample of what this uh, mic sounds like. I'm gonna go ahead now and clip it underneath my shirt here so you can see what it sounds like the way I would normally wear it. So let me just take this off here and I'm just gonna put this underneath my shirt and clip that there. Let's see, there we go. So that's how I would normally wear it. I would just clip it underneath my shirt here so that you can't see it. And this is what you can expect from it right there. So um, now, as I mentioned, you can use this mic with both uh, iOS and uh, Android devices, pretty much all kinds of devices. You just need the right adapter if you don't have a headphone jack. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up to my iPhone first so we can take a listen and then I'll hook it up to my, uh, to my Samsung and we'll take a listen there as well. All right, so here I am. I am recording now with my iPhone 11 Pro Max and I have the microphone hooked up to the phone. And yeah, this is what I'm uh, this is what I'm sounding like. So now I do have the uh, the microphone just set to the regular levels. I guess I don't have the decibel button pushed. I'm just using the standard iPhone camera app. So yeah, this is what you can expect if you just bought this microphone, took it out of the box hooked it up, plugged it in, and you're off and running. This is what you can expect for it to sound like. So I'm not changing any levels. I'm not changing anything in editing. I'm not lowering the gain or lowering the gain. This is exactly what it's sounding like out of the camera. So now I am going to push the decibel button on here so that we can hear what that sounds like and see if it does any different, any good or any bad. So let me push that right now. And there we go. I've pushed it. Now, once you push the button, you will notice that there is a red dot that shows up on the, uh, on the microphone uh, receiver. And I did notice the last time I pushed the button when I was uh, plugged into my Sony camera that it dropped the level some. So it might've done the same here, but we'll see. You can't really tell because, well, there's no meters on the camera app and there's no meters on the, um, on the microphone receiver itself. So. Um, but now let's go ahead and hook up the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and see what it sounds like hooked up to an Android device. 
All right, so now I am recording with the microphones using my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. And I have to say that immediately I'm disappointed already because, well, the cable that is supposed to allow me to use my cell phone isn't working. Now, I plugged it in with my iPhone and the adapter, it worked. But when I went ahead and used the same cable with my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, it did not work. Now, I tried a couple of different adapters. I tried the one that they actually sent with me, which is they sent with the microphone, which is a Huawei adapter. It did not work. I actually have a Samsung authorized adapter, a regular Samsung branded adapter. I used that one instead and still didn't work. And so I had to actually swap out the cables. This is the cable that came with the, uh, with the microphone set and I ended up having to use a cable that came from Editage and I'm using that cable now and it seems to be working. But for whatever reason, it was just not sending the signal through to my phone. I don't know why. Now I have to say that for me, that's a major fail because when I'm supposed to be able to use this microphone system with all my devices and if I bought this to use with an Android phone, a Samsung phone and I plugged it in and it didn't work, I would think the whole thing is trash and throw it away or not throw it away, I'd just return it. But I would be very, very upset by the fact that it didn't work. Now, luckily for me, because I have multiple devices, I can test it on multiple devices and make sure that it does work. And so I know that the microphone system does work, but I'm disappointed that it didn't work with my Samsung device and I then had to go switch out the cables. So the microphone, as we can hear, it is working, but the cables aren't working with my Samsung. So. Anyways, right now I'm on the regular decibel levels. I'm gonna go ahead and swap that out and um, and push the decibel, uh, the, the regular the decibel button so we can lower it here. Let's click that right there. And there we go, the decibel uh, light is now turned red and it's probably a bit lower than it was before. So we'll see what this sounds like. So now one thing that's nice about the Samsung uh, Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is that they have a pro video mode that actually lets you control the audio in there. So you can actually lower or raise the gain levels in the camera itself. So if you're using this microphone and the decibels are just, you're just peaking, it's just the mic is just way too hot, maybe you're loud or in a loud situation or something, you can go into your camera and lower the gain levels and then you can hit that decibel button on the mic as well to try and give you a double you know, whammy of lowered gain. So yeah, anyways, here you go. No cutting, no editing. I mean, no not any cutting. I'm probably gonna edit the video and all that, but I'm not gonna edit and lower the levels of the audio. I'm just gonna leave them as they are coming out of the camera. And this is what you can expect. All right, so we were able to hear what this microphone sounds like. I'm using it again right now. I do have the decibel button pushed on there to lower the uh, the gain on here, and my mic input going into my camera is at like one, so it's a pretty low signal, it's pretty hot signal going in from the mic, but it's pretty low overall. Um, but I wanna do a range test with this, so I'm gonna go outside. I have my GoPro Hero 9 Black. We're gonna take this, go outside. It's pretty gloomy and crummy day. It's been raining all day, but we're gonna just see if we can get, uh, you know, just a quick distance test in. We're gonna go out and walk a little bit and uh, just, I'm gonna set the camera down, just walk back and see what it looks like or what it sounds like uh, when I have line of sight. And then I'll turn my back and see what it sounds like if I break line of sight. So yeah, let's head outside, try that out. All right, everyone. So here I am. I'm outside now and I'm shooting with my GoPro Hero Black 9. I have the microphone hooked up on top there. And uh, yeah, so I just have the regular um, the regular decibel level set. I'm going to go ahead and drop it in just a few moments. But what I want to do is just go ahead and back up a little bit, do a little bit of a distance test and see how far I can go back before the signal starts to drop out. So um, we'll just start backing up here a bit and I'm just going to go ahead and keep backing up here now i don't know if the signal is dropping out already or if it's still holding strong i do have a line of sight so what i think i'll do is go to about this pole right here and then i'll stop and see if it's still doing pretty well and uh what i'll do right now is just simply uh turn around so let me go ahead and around and i don't know if you can
on there and uh, I'm back facing again so we have line of sight again so if it did fall out you should be hearing me strong again now so let me go ahead and uh, and uh, just walk towards the camera again and we're getting closer the mic the transmitter and receiver are getting closer and closer so we'll see how that works out and hopefully we didn't get any dropout so um, but if we did, then you have an idea of, uh, you know, of what to expect. Now I'm going to do the same test again, but I'm going to drop the decibel levels on this thing a little bit so that we can see, uh, what this is going to sound like if you have the levels drop some. Okay. So I went ahead and I dropped those decibel levels down again. I'm going to go ahead and back up some so we can, uh, we can hear what this sounds like just backing up. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn my back right now and I'm just going to walk away. So I don't know if this is holding up, if the signal's holding up or not at all, if I've completely dropped out or if I'm completely strong, I have no idea. We're going to find out together when I get this. So here I am, uh, stopping about the pole here. This is probably the equivalent of walking across the street. So just a normal streets, if you're walking across it, this is about the distance. So we're gonna see what this sounds like. And again, you know what? I'll just turn my back again so we can see what that sounds like. If I'm breaking up at all, if, I'm, uh, if the signal's holding at all, I don't know. So yeah, there we go. That's just an idea of what we can expect. And so one last thing that I do wanna check is, I just wanna walk and vlog with this a little bit and see how this holds up if I'm just vlogging and moving a little bit. Okay, so here we are. I'm just walking and vlogging a little bit so we can uh, get an idea of what this sounds like if you are just walking and talking. And uh, you know, there's not a whole lot around me, just concrete, cars, a little bit of metal from railing and stuff. So there shouldn't be a lot of interference, if any. And uh, yeah, this is just a quick sample of what this mic can do if you're vlogging. Now I am using the, uh, the decibel levels on here, uh, the decibel, the reducer thing, I guess. So I'm dropping the, the levels down uh, on there. I have the decibel button pushed. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, push it again so that it turns off and we just have full audio. So let's click that again. And there we go. Now, you probably noticed that the levels jumped up some. I don't know if it's gonna still sound good or not, or if it ever sounded good, but this is what you can expect. So yeah, anyways, this is the, uh, this is the, uh, the moving box microphone, 2.4 gigahertz wireless mic. All right, everyone, so there we have it. That is a look at the Moving Box wireless microphone. And I have to say, I have mixed feelings about this mic set. And that is because, well, one of the one of the things was a major fail. The fact that the cable that came included with it would not work with my Samsung phone. And they say it works with all devices. They actually sent this microphone to me with, an, with a USB-C adapter so I could use it with my Android device. And the cable didn't work. The, I, you know, I wasn't sure if it was the adapter, so I switched the adapter. That didn't work. And I actually had to use a different cable and that different cable ended up working for me so I don't know if it was just a problem with that cable alone which I can't believe that it is because the cable worked just fine when I was using my uh, my iOS device but with my Android device that cable didn't work and I ended up having to use uh, you know a different cable for it so that was uh that was definitely disappointing so but i was fairly impressed with the distance test i've used some of these wireless mics before and tested them and it seems like when you step just two or three feet away from the uh the when you get two or three feet away with the transmitter and the receiver the signal starts to drop out or as soon as you turn your back the signal drops out this one actually held up pretty well i was able to actually turn my back and walk away a fair distance and still have a signal and I was able to walk away from the camera or the transmitter and the receiver were able to be a fair distance apart and walk away from the camera where my receiver was. And, you know, as long as I was maintaining line of sight, I, I, I had a strong signal. So I was impressed with the distance test. Um, now this is a very, very hot mic. I mean, it's loud. It is loud. It puts out a very loud signal and that's not for everyone. For me, I already speak loud. I don't need a mic that's super, super hot. I speak loud as it is. And so I had to go in there and hit that DB button, the decibel button to sort of lower that down. And that was another issue. They didn't really tell you, you know, how low that decibel, you know, what that pad is, if it's dropping it by like three decibels or six decibels or 12 decibels. They didn't really tell you, it just drops. And you can't really tell if you don't have meters 
on your uh, you know levels on your camera or your recorder you just don't know what it's doing so um yeah i mean it it the, the thing works and you can definitely tell when you hit that button that it drops down you can tell so there's that so anyways yeah it's decent. I'm not going to say they're bad mics. I'm not going to say they're great mics. They're they're just decent. They're okay. And, you know, if you're looking for something and you catch a good deal on them, then you might want to give them a try. So, yeah. Anyways, there you have it. I'm going to leave links to them down below in the video description so that you can check them out. I'm also going to leave links to my Amazon page and all my social media contacts so that you can uh, reach out to me elsewhere and see the other products and services that I've reviewed over time. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and air grease. Peace.